This shrine has been desecrated. Who would do this? Oh no. Slain and left to rot. Utter contempt for these sacred messengers. Completely destroyed. This took time and effort. Defaced. There's no doubt this was purposeful. Peace for the divine. What happened here was an act of hate. Do you know who did this? Lead me. Lead me to where I need to go so I can bring justice. They must be responsible. <laughs> yeah. What do you want me to do? Assassinate? Sure. Why not? Look, another fox. More Mongols? Oh boy. Let's get over there without being spotted. There we go. Uh oh. That's a lot. Oh, shh. Dude, that dog is going to cause me a lot of trouble. I just know it. Why do I have so many dogs? Yep. See, I knew I should have killed the dog earlier. There must be more. Dude, there's so many. Does this dog know? He's going to. Too high. we do grab this bamboo that I wanted to grab earlier oh there's a guy right here should use my uh my longbow for this one son of a bitch there we go Good job. Did not mean to shoot there. Nobody has arrows. All right. Need to go over here. Challenge remaining enemies. Fight. Sure. <laughs> so 
What an idiot. Oh, he had arrows on him. I need to spend my technique points. I forgot. Oh great, there's more. I'd like to take out this big dude. Oh, you bastard! Did, did that reset? Yeah, it did. Okay. So, so that's good to know. I hate my arrow. I really hate it. I hate lining up my shot and then releasing the trigger, but because but for some reason I always let go of the uh, the left trigger first. I don't know why. It took a lot longer than uh, it should have. I was trying to sneak around too much, but whatever. So I learned a couple of things from that in regards to my ghost technique. Effects with a percent chance to occur are 50% more likely to occur. Okay. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what that means exactly, but. Like, here it says 15% increase to knocking and reload speeds. Or maybe it's, uh... I don't know. But maybe this would mean, like, it goes up to... I don't think it would double. I think it would go up to, like, 22% or something like that. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Techniques, that's what I need. Um, sure, we'll get that one. Oh, I can't grab these. Damn it. I wanted to grab that one. Oh, I just wasted both of those. Okay. Whoops. Don't worry, foxes. I will protect you. All right. Um. Now where am I going? I don't know. Anyway. I did learn a couple things about my ghost. Or no. I learned one thing. About my ghost technique. Um. Couldn't do this without you, boy. Let's see. So it's kind of like a kill streak because you know you need to get a certain amount of kills in a row and then you have it available. But if you take damage, you lose it. And that's the thing I learned. You know, even if you have the thing unlocked and available to use, you will lose that if you get hit. And uh is this bamboo or what? No, this is a... Oh! 
It's one of these. Gold Koi River. Eh. Do I have anything good? <laughs> I think this one would go good with my uh my outfit. I mean I could try this and see how it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad either. But it's like a little too much, you know. Alright. So, uh, one of the things I was wondering about with my ghost technique was, you know, if I do take damage and lose, or have my technique reset, do I lose the ability to use that if I had already had it, like, unlocked? That was the thing I was wondering about. And the answer is, I lose it if I get hit. So that means whenever I have my ghost technique available, I should just use it right away. Because there's no point in holding on to it. There's really no point, because most likely I'm going to take damage and lose it anyway. Um, talk about food. I don't know. When the Mongols are gone, I'm going to stuff myself with chinelo pears. Fresh tuna. Sweet seaweed from Azamo. Oh great, now I'm hungry. Alright. So now we're gonna go... I guess we'll go over here. I know I'm wasting a lot of time just doing side stuff. <laughs> I don't... I don't think we've done, like, an actual story mission in, like, gosh, I don't know how many hours. It's been a while. It's been even, it's been even longer for me because, you know, I, it's probably been a couple of weeks, <laughs> you know, because I don't record, like, all of this in one sitting, so... Probably been a while. All right, good. The horse can go up the stairs. Um, the other thing I was wondering about my ghost te technique is how long it actually lasts. Like, is there a timer on it, or is it the amount of kills you get with it? Oh, forgive me. I thought you were one of them. That statue was one of Master Izo's. It wasn't enough for the Mongols to kill my father. They had to desecrate his legacy. You're Master Izo's son. I'm sorry to hear he's gone. We won't see his like again. This statue was his best. I could restore it if I had his tools. But his killers have taken our home, too. I'll get the tools. And we'll honor your father's memory by restoring his work. Thank you, my lord. Our home is just up the mountain road. And if you can avenge him... I will. Flesh and stone. Alright. So anyway... Um... Yeah, when I'm using my ghost technique, I don't know if... It has like a timer on it or if there's a certain amount of kills I can get with it because when I use it it seems like I get three kills and then it's done but there might be a meter in the corner there that I'm just not seeing because I'm focused on the center of the screen I could just go back in my recording and look at it but I'm too lazy also I don't know where I'm going I really don't know. Am I going to have to climb up this thing?
I mean, if anything, it'll give me a better viewpoint. I also see birds around here. go and I don't think I'm supposed to be up here but there's something on the other side is it at the bottom or is it over here Maybe it's up here. I see a bird here. Oh, it's another haiku spot. Reflect on preservation. A fortress of strength. Sights set high above, holding ever fast. Preservation. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Reveal the inner weakness, a journey's path never known. Protection safe and sure. Rushing to the goal. Why am I not marking that? There we go. Rushing past failure. Viewing the future. I don't know. I think the one at the bottom is probably the best. Eh. I have no idea. <laughs> Holding ever fast. With protection, safe and sure. Pushing to the goal. I should really look up whether or not there's a correct answer for these things. That doesn't look too bad. Alright. Let's go back and try to find the Sculptor's home. Unless there's something else around here. There is, but it's kind of far away, so... Mm. Um... Yeah, I should look up whether or not there's a... Like, actual answer to the haikus. Or if it's just... You know, like actual poetry where there is no right or wrong answer, or, you know, there's no right way or wrong way to write poetry. At least I think that's how it should be. Okay, why don't you roll? I will spam you circle. This looks like a house. Alright. There are archers around here. I don't see any. Oh, 
Wait a minute. Did he have something? Nope. You know, I wish that I would just automatically pick up everything. I'm a little bit tired of pressing R2 to collect stuff. <laughs> Someone's using the master's tools. What do you want? Master Izo, I'm glad you're alive. Your son thinks the Mongols killed you. <sighs> Poor boy. I'll take you to him. No. The reason I'm alive is because a Mongol general admires my work. The Mongols are mutilating your sculptures, destroying your legacy. He wants me to create a masterpiece for Kublai Khan himself. I can't refuse. Gather your tools. We're leaving. Which of my statues is damaged? The Bosatsu down the road. I created that to honor my son's birth. It's not my finest work. He disagrees. Mamoru is a good son. But his eye for art has always been lacking. Whatever you may believe, that statue is one of the greatest in Kushi. Kushi? Do you know how vast the Mongol Empire is? You sound like you're chasing fame and glory. Aren't you? Everyone respects and fears the ghost, don't they? I'm fighting to save my people. You're lucky. You've never had to choose between duty to others and to yourself. All right. Um, this way. I don't, I don't know exactly where. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. There we go. Hide. Don't make a sound. My son. Quiet. Come and fight. Oh no. yourself. What do you have? Oh, <laughs> nothing. Sweet Amaru. He died defending your legacy. I destroyed all to have him back. All you can do is honor his memory. Be the man he thought you were. I'm sorry, my son. Well, that's not a very happy ending. Arm of Munity. 15% chance for enemy arrows to deal no damage. Okay. Alright, so we're done with uh, a bunch of the side missions. We still have a couple to do here, but I think we'll go back there eventually. I have a couple of gifts. Well, I have one gift, apparently. Is it worth going over there? Not really. I think I should just head on over to uh, the main mission. Although, does it tell me how many supplies I have? 282? Yeah, it still probably won't be enough. Because usually the gifts have like a bunch of supplies. And even if I get like a couple hundred, it still won't be enough to upgrade anything. Anything that I want. So. 
I'm just gonna continue going the main mission and we'll finally resume the story. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal doing side missions in this game. Um, or, I guess, the tails. The tails are better. The side missions, like the one we just did, it's kind of like, eh. You know, it's okay. But, I don't know. I like the tails because we actually get important character development. You know, we're learning about Lady Masako, we're learning about Ishikawa. You know, these people are supposed to be our allies, so it's better that we know what their story is rather than just doing nothing. Oh. Oh boy. Oh man, I'm surprised I got that. <laughs> Ooh, more resolve. Nice. I think I saw something down there. Yep. Alright then. Keep going. Um, anyway, the tails, they do develop the characters pretty well. So they feel much more important to the story. Um, yeah, it's just like, it's, uh, the tales are important to the story, so they don't really feel like side missions, they, they do feel like actual main missions, story missions, whatever you want to call them. The Warrior's Burden, Sensei Ishikawa. I don't know. Sensei Ishikawa should visit this place. I wonder if he's ever relaxed in his life. He's strung tighter than his bowstring. Like, we get such little health. But, you know, there's probably a bunch of springs around everywhere, so... Probably can't give too much health. I'm going the wrong way. There you go. Down there. Also, it looks like there's a shrine up there. Maybe. I don't know. Draw your blades! That's an archer. See, no point in wasting that. I mean, no point in saving that. My life is yours, Lord Sakai. I'll see that you keep it. I could use information about the area. I don't know much. Just that the Mongols have taken over the lighthouse on Kubara's coast. A fine outpost for scouting. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, there's just no point in saving the ghost stuff because... It's more likely that I'm gonna take damage... Eventually, you know? One of the things I have a problem with in games is, uh... I get special abilities... Abilities? And, like, Let's ultimate go. moves and stuff. 
And then I just hold on to them because it's like, well, I want to make sure I don't waste this. I want to make sure that I actually make it useful. But then I end up holding on to it forever and I never use it. And then it's like, well, that just went to waste. So the fact that um, this game will punish you for right not here. using it is a I good thing. Because it's like, if you want to save it, you actually have to avoid taking damage, which is very difficult for somebody like me. I mean, the other thing about, like, just using abilities as soon as you have them available is they'll start building up, you know, quickly. And then you can use it, like, multiple times in a fight if you're good enough. I mean, I think I'm... I'm just trying to learn to use my abilities more often. That's that's it. And in this game, because you can't really save anything unless you don't take damage, it's like, well, I better use it. Just so I don't waste it. You know, and then I can work on building it up again and use it, you know, multiple times instead of just using it at that one perfect moment. So... Yeah, anyway. As soon as I get the ghost thing unlocked, it's just like, well, I'm going to use it right away. Now, if there was a perk in the game that allowed me to not have it reset, maybe I would... No, nah, I'd still use it a bunch. <laughs> Something I really need to learn to do, not just for this game, but for other games. You know, just use all the abilities at my disposal. You know, just try to use a variety of stuff rather than just, you know, either only using my sword or melee abilities or whatever. Are you cowards? I'm <laughs> Oh man, I couldn't really see that. Couldn't tell how close he was. Is he still alive? Ouch. This guy's a real piece of work. Of course I would miss that shot. best uh, for combos and stuff. Like, I'm still trying to figure out when to use heavy attacks and when to use light attacks. Or fast attacks, you know? I mean, obviously, if they're guarding, I need to use triangle. So I'm, like, breaking their guard. But after they break their guard, it seems like it's better to just spam square rather than using triangle. I 
I don't know, it seems like I have a better damage output if I use my light attacks when their guard is down. Which is something probably pretty obvious to most people, but for me, <laughs> not really. I'm not really much of a fighting game type player, so I'm still learning quite a bit. But I am learning, so that's good. Where's this bird gonna take me? Well, I lost the bird. Well, there's a mission up there that I have to do. Come I got and fight. more. Dude, there's so many enemies. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't bluff. Surrender. I might let you live. Look at that, 36 supplies, nice. We're getting all the supplies here. Dude! Pretty much all of them had supplies on them. Except for like one. But the box, he, he probably put his in the box. There was something else I was talking about, but I don't remember what it was. I mean, it feels like I was probably talking about the side missions and stuff. I mean, I, I think I did talk about most of that. Um, I think mostly I wanted to talk about how it doesn't feel like a waste of time to be doing the tales, you know, like the Lady Masako stuff and Ishikawa and that. Those missions. Because they're important to the story, they're important in developing the characters. So it doesn't feel like a waste of time. But the, uh, the side quests we get from the random people in the villages, those are kind of more uh, optional for me. Because it's like, they're not super important to the story, they're kind of just like, stuff that's going on in the world of Tushima. So they're not like, vital to help you understand the story better. But they're not too bad. And it seems like this game has pretty short acts. You know, it's like each act has like three mission, uh, three missions or mission chains. Like, uh, you know, we, we only have like three things to do in this part of the, uh, the island. So it's like, we don't have a lot to do. And I'm wondering if I could just go through this game without doing any side missions whatsoever. Maybe, but I don't know. Um, but if I were to do that, I feel like the game would be super short. But they designed this game in a way to have the tales be... Um, probably optional? But they make it so important to the story that it's like, well, why not? Why not just go through that stuff and learn about the characters and also learn some new techniques along the way? So the tales are also kind of like main story missions as well. So in reality, the... Uh 
the act seems super short, but once you start doing the other stuff, they re they become pretty lengthy. And it adds a lot of time to the game, and not just like time wasting garbage is actually like good <laughs> good stuff no sign of mongols i kind of like the way it's designed but it looks like we're gonna have to look for our father's armor i want to know what it looks like oh we got a record Deaf ears. Lord Sakai instructed us to leave the village to take refuge at Omi Monastery. But the gates are shut and no one will answer our calls. It's as if the place is abandoned. But at night I hear whispers over the walls. Prayers. The monks begging the gods to protect them from the Mongols. But if the gods won't protect them, what chance do we have? 